Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and some more interesting photos. Gonna start off with this one, which is very suspicious. So here we have some members of royalty. Actually, there's three giants here because we have the first one, the second one, and the third one here. Look at his the size of his feet. Now they are very different from the servants and the soldiers. Very suspicious. Also, he's bringing them some sort of like very interesting like concoction here. So yeah, the giants in the day actually existed, and this is just one example of many. Look at this creation here. This is just awesome. This is of course from Asia. I think I'm not sure if it's India or Cambodia, but anyway, guys, just look look at the design and the intricacy and the faces. Like, why would they build such things? And what was it for? Look at this. Like this, just the carvings here are amazing. They have like people here. Just so damn beautiful. Now, moving on to the next one. These people are using electric cars. Electric cars are not new. They actually existed at the end of the 19th century, okay? And they were using them in America and other parts of Europe a lot. And then suddenly they stopped using them because there was the petrol, of course, the industries wanted to use petrol. And now they're trying to go back to the eco cars because, you know, it's better for the nature or whatever. But actually, electric cars existed well in the late 19th century. And there's plenty of photos to prove that. Look at this one, guys, here. Complete total reset. That is just crazy. Like the mud float here completely covered half of the building. Why would they want to cover that? And what was the purpose of hiding this? We still don't know. The next one, guys, just shows a world which is very different from ours. I just wanted to share this photo with you guys to show like how our society has changed just over the last 200 years. Now, look at this one here. This one is a very interesting one. This one like is a Tesla coil, and these are like structures from the Hindu world, and they look very similar, almost as if the people from back in the day, from like in the past, had some sort of knowledge how to use the energy from the air to benefit from it and potentially produce some sort of electricity for their own well-being. This is very interesting stuff. Now, this ruin here, guys, is quite astonishing. Look at the size of this and you can tell straight away that there's actually more stuff underneath, under the ground, maybe like 5, 10, 50 meters, no idea. But it just goes to show that this structure is not unique. There are so many more structures on the planet which are completely covered under, okay, by a percentage and they are hiding a lot of secrets of what happened in the past reset. Now look at this one here. This one here is very unique because we have some soldiers fighting which is nothing new back in the day but we have this one here. It's almost like a weapon which was actually releasing some sort of like spark so it was like shining and then this soldier here got injured because maybe like this spark was like kind of like blinding him. I'm not sure but like this is quite unique advanced technology which was not supposed to exist back in the day. Very interesting stuff guys. Look at this one. I just wanted to share with guys with this one because this is also a very interesting like palace or or castle, mini mini castle. It looks pretty cool. So I just wanted to share with you guys just how awesome the design is of this particular small castle. Now look at this one here, guys. London, New York, Florence, Geneva, Washington DC, and Dubai. All of them have this arch, this column, this piece missing from here indicating something very important that everyone all the governments are controlled by a one single order and our economy and our politics is just basically a simple facade as simple as that moving on to the next one this is a comparison between athens back then in the early 20th century and now the restoration was quite amazing. There was literally nothing here and now there's a city. So yeah, a lot have happened back in the day. Like the mountains were cut a bit here, as you can see there. Yeah, quite amazing, guys. I mean, there's been a lot of movement here and lots of change. Now look at this stone here and then look at this one here. Now this stone here was interestingly cut. You can see here, this cut is not natural. This is 100% artificial. And it's just so unique because it's in the middle of nowhere, literally it's in the middle of nowhere. And this was not cut because someone came there with a saw, like some sort of company, because there's nothing, no profit there. So again, this is just something, something else, guys, because some ancient civilization cut this in this particular angle. 
Looking at this one here, back in the day we had the International Electric Exhibition, 1884, and look at the technology which was being showed, like you have here like different trains, different lights, different like uh, manufacturing technology, like a uh, camera, light bulbs. This is very interesting from to open Tuesday, September 1884. Now, talking about unicorns, guys, there's many paintings back in the day which show that people were actually using unicorns quite a lot. This is are just some examples. Does this mean that unicorns actually existed back in the day and they were basically, they've gone extinct, extinct because humans abused them? I mean, that is a genuine possibility. But look at this one here. So this one is a statue from like more than 1000 years ago. It looks like it's from like Star Wars, like the helmet, the lights here. This is like artificial lights, the modern helmet and everything. Like it's just, this is just crazy. This helmet here, guys, and this equipment shows that the people who made this were visited by beings which had very advanced technology. Moving on to the next one, this cathedral just looks so awesome, so I just wanted to share with you guys. Look at the design here, so intricate, so complex. I just love this. It just it looks just so well made. Now, this one is an interesting one. Look at this platform here. Look at the rise of this, and almost like there's I don't know, almost a kind of hints like there's like a secret entrance here in the corner because this is all flat, this is like raised, almost like there's been raised by a particular strong wind or something which is like on the side, maybe of a machine. So just, I don't know, this particular part of this platform, it just looks to me that it maybe hides some sort of like secret facility underground. Moving on to the next one, guys. Look at this one here. This is an ancient one. I mean, this is like maybe from like the 17th, 18th century. And we have an ancient uh, or advanced machine here, which has like a drill, which is very interesting. And that just goes to show that maybe these people have some technology, which right now we still don't fully understand how they made things. Look at this one here. This one is very bizarre. It looks like a rock, but like also the design and it just looks a bit more like something else. Like almost looks like a skull from like a giant Nephilim or something. I don't know, but it just looks so bizarre and so weird and just doesn't seem to look like a normal stone. I don't know. Anyway, moving on to the uh, next one, guys. Look at this one here. This is from the ancient Greeks or Romans, which were using effectively weather manipulation technology to manipulate the actual weather. What the heck? How are they even doing this? That is insane, guys. So much technology which is hidden. Look at this one here. This is literally a cultural layer completely covered. We have major modern buildings. And then underneath we have effectively lots of brick, lots of old buildings. And if you keep going, maybe like a couple more meters, I am pretty sure we're going to find even more buildings underneath. Quite shocking, isn't it? Same with this one. Look at the contrast. This is super ancient, super old. Guys, we are living over a different civilization. Lots of tunnels, for example, this one here. Look at these ancient tunnels on the ground. I mean, the size of them are just gigantic. And just goes to show that, yeah, there's lots of things happening on the ground, which we are completely unaware of. This is from the exhibitions, guys, from uh, Paris. Look at the structures, look at the, I mean, the ability of these people. Look at the palaces, man. This is just shocking. All these were completely destroyed after the events. All these palaces from the expos in the late 20, late 19th century and early 20th century, they were completely erased and des destroyed. Why would they do such a thing? Look at this one here. This is the official souvenir World's Fair St. Louis 1904, the Palace of Electricity completely destroyed. This one doesn't exist anymore, it is gone. Why would they get, get rid of them? Look at this one here, guys. We have a ton of places here, a lot of them like it. This is the bird view. Again, super awesome, amazing. Um, same problem happens with many other cultures. They're carving different things in basically like mountains. Why would they do that? Why would they do such a thing? Like there's a very important reason for this particular behavior, almost as in it's quite cryptic. Why would they do such amazing things back in the day? Uh, we have an interesting one, which is almost like a flying machine, which is flying on or kind of like swimming on water with some clouds or in the sky. I'm not sure to be honest, but we see again the same thing like a weather manipulation device, which is also 
quite unique. Uh, we're going back to the expo, so we have one, two, three, four, five palaces or six palaces, and look at the size of the people. Look how small the people are compared to these major huge palaces, which again, they were completely destroyed after the expositions finished. Why would they do such a thing? Why, why were they trying to hide from humans? I'm not sure, guys. Look at this one here. This one is a person, a woman and her daughter, potentially taking like some sort of like treatment under this particular um encasing capsule there's some sort of like gas here which is very interesting or some liquid maybe like pure oxygen i'm not 100 sure but this potentially could be a very unique treatment capsule look at this one guys this is just amazing the design of this is just amazing awesome the towers are just just out of this world look at the intricacy look at the power look at the design look at the arches look at the sculptures everywhere man i mean the amount of work that went into making this is just crazy like why were what were they thinking like when they did this like just begs the question guys there's a history which is completely untold and finishing off we have this very weird mountain which again looks just so out of place almost as if this is like the ruins of an ancient castle and then finally we have this one in the middle of nowhere as you can see here this is like a village but somehow there's this big arch in the middle and it just just stays so out of place and it's just bizarre and of course this was completely destroyed why would they do that why would they get rid of this thing like what was its significance and most importantly don't you guys think that this is very out of place almost as if this was made by a different civilization and it was just left there and then people build stuff obviously around this particular monument until the date came that they had to destroy it I don't know guys, but there's so many questions and hopefully with this video, with these pictures, you saw that there's so many more facets to history that we don't know and it's very, very astonishing. So guys, that's it for today's video. As always, I shall see you later in the next one.